19 days ago, I started FIFA 22 from scratch. Hours and hours of time went into this and today I sit on 1 million coins with absolutely no money spent. Two words, entrepreneurship. But just before this video, I want to thank Mule Factory for sponsoring this video. If you want to go and buy yourself any FIFA 22 coins, make sure to click the link in the description and check out Mule Factory and use the code LE5CHEAP for a spicy little discount. So, let me tell you how I did it. Okay. Our story starts on the 19th of December when I put a video out called I started FIFA 22 from scratch. In that video, I deleted the current team that I had and started again in FIFA 22 Ultimate Team. Firstly, I completed all of the foundation SBCs that I possibly could do with the coins that I had. Once I built up the tiniest bit of coins, it was then time to start trading in FIFA 22. If you start in FIFA 22 from scratch, always start with your SBCs. There's absolutely no point doing it any other way. In terms of trading, how I started was with gold old chem style trading now let me just explain what that is so this is how the method works find yourself a defender or a midfielder and then what you need to do is go and see what the price is just without a shadow what oh that yeah yeah well if you wait until the end of this video i'll show you exactly what i've done with all my coins just make sure to stick around the boys Oosh. <laughs> boy. However, at the minute, Wijnaldum is currently selling for around 2.7k. However, if we go and take a look at him with a shadow chemistry style on him, and we go over here, let's have a look. He is currently selling with a shadow chem style on him for around 4,000 coins, meaning that there's a gap between his normal card and his card with a shadow of around 1,000 coins-ish. So if you want to, you can sit here and just snipe players just like this, or what you can also do, which is what I was doing, is use a filter to find loads of different cards. Fair enough. So the filter that you want to go and use is just go and set this to around 700 coins, go over to the quality and set it to gold bro, and then search up on the market. Once you've done that, you then need to scroll to the 59th minute and you need to sit here and just refresh by using compare price, back out, compare price, back out. And then as soon as you see a card who looks like a deal, you pick it up, you sell it on, you make some profit, spice world. Once I'd made a decent amount of coins, I then started moving into a lot of different trading methods. Now, I've got some methods which work pretty well, but I'd say they're quite hard. And I want this to be a video where you can come on and follow it all the way through and you can make 1 million coins too. So this is going to be the next method you're going to be using. So this is the next method that you're going to be using. It's going to be quality, special, chem style, shadow and then with the pricing this is where things get difficult. So what you need to do for a min price, this will never ever change, is set this to 9,500 coins. Then with your max price, typically you want to be setting it to 10,500, but that'll change and I'll tell you why. Once you've searched up, you're going to be doing the exact same thing. Scroll to the 59th minute, that's where the new deals are. And once you get to the 59th minute, you need to be checking for one thing in particular. There needs to be one card or zero cards after the hour mark. Now, what do I mean by that? Say for example, if I set this max price to 11,250 and I scroll over here, you will be able to see at the 59th minute, there will be a number of cards over the hour mark. Now, what I mean by that is that they are listed with their time remaining of longer than an hour. As you can see at the bottom, two hours, three hours, four hours, you need zero or one, otherwise this won't work. The reason why it won't work is because when you're refreshing, no new cards will pop up if there are multiple cards listed after the hour mark. I don't know why that's the case, but just how things are. This method's super difficult because you need to remember a lot of prices. So what I tend to do and what I did for this series was on a different account on the web app, I would be individually checking all of these prices of the cards that are popping up. For example, Perfect. Florenzi at 12,500, I think is a deal. If we go over here and take a look at his price, he's currently selling for around 14750 But if I didn't know his price, I'd check it on the web app and then I'd go and pick the card up. If it's not there anymore, at least I know what price it is. Never buy without knowing the prices. You'll always, always lose coins. Trust me on that. The question is though, what did I do with all those coins? Well, what I did first was I opened a few packs and <gasps> as you'll be able to see, this was what I got. So you're wondering what I'm doing with some of the coins. Yeah, I'm just completing the the icon pack. I'm just gonna do a mid icon upgrade. Yo, for the boys, like, why the hell not? But there we go, boys. The mid icon upgrade is Dumb. Right, come on, come on, give me something big. Give me one of the big nations, please. Argentina, centre. This is fine. I'm fine with that, you bald little bastard. I mean, it could have definitely been worse, but I saw Argentina, I thought Maradona, and we get Veron instead. But do you know what, the boys? I think we need to. We need to build a team around him, don't you? So then, the boys, we have created a blank team, and obviously there's going to be one person in this who you know already. However, this is the team that I have come up with. This is what I have spent everything on. 
to make. So boys, starting off in the goalkeeper position, it's going to be the most boring player out of all this. It's going to be Gold Courtois, arguably fodder. I'm not spending a lot on a goalkeeper. It's just not happening. 20 odd K, I think it cost me. Not too bad. However, this is where we start getting a bit spicy. We're going to be going for Acuna at the left back position. This card looks absolutely stinky. His stats look good. Obviously, it's a headline as well, so it is going to get upgraded over time, but pretty decent. The two centre-back positions, we need a link going into Courtois, and then I'm going to be mixing it up one time and going over with Klosterman as well. So we've got an okay back line. I'd say that Klosterman is arguably better than Alaba, but realistically, pretty decent. Providing a link over to Klosterman is going to be our right back in Mukiel. Not so bad. And then we can go into the CDM position. It is going to be Hey Arnold, who is, I think, the cheapest card in this whole team. But he's blue, so he must be good. I think that's how it works, isn't it? Donut! Going over to the other CDM position is going to be someone who is going to be currently a CM. And it is going to be Veron. Not so bad. Obviously, who we got from the icon pack. Again, it could be better, but... I'd say it arguably could have been worse as well. Chuck a shadow on him, he looks okay. Moving into the centre mid position, you've probably just seen him then. It's going to be David Silva. Not actually used this card. Another one who's fairly cheap, but he actually looks okay. Two star weak foot is a bit stinky. Going over to the right wing position is going to be someone I've wanted to try for a while. It's going to be Serge Gnabry, who four star, four star. His individual stats look okay. Then we're going to move over to the left wing position, who is going to be Carrasco, who is looking beautiful. I'd say that this is definitely a card who I'd probably be picking up. I imagine if he gets a few more upgrades, he could be very good. 76 balance isn't the best. However, his other stats are stinky. And then finally, in the striker position, it is going to be Morelles, and that is going to be our completed team from 40 hours of trading a lot of days grinding and making the videos and putting things together this is what i have made with our 1 million coins Oosh. all right boys let's see what this team can do yeah I <clears throat> that's we're off to a good start every day of the week every day of the week michael oh, i love it go on morales go on morales i'll do it myself i'll do it myself run with it run with it oh it's it's spicy it's spicy keep that going Keep it going. It's 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 easy. It's 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 easy at this point. Who was that? David Silva. Go on, lad. I oh, can't touch me. Can't touch me. Won't touch me. Jesus Christ! It's two 0 Oh, Morelles, stinky. That three? Oh, I think it is. Oh, I think it is. Oh, I think it is. I think it's 3 0. Perfect. Just dig it. Just dig it. Just dig it because it's going in the back of their net. Oh, dearie me. Oh. Oh. I'm. I mean, I'd say that was offside if you're in a real game, but either way. But boys, hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to drop a massive, massive like on it. Make sure to click here or here to go and check out another video. Or click in the middle of it to subscribe to this channel. However, this has been Lewis, Ellie96, and I am off. Oosh.